this up. Um, well, what do you guys? What is your take on the subject matter of reincarnation? Have you guys ever heard of that? What's your what reincarnation? Yeah, but wait, wait. Before but before it's we jump age. there, I, I just want to say that the blacks that are in America are Central and West African. They're not East African. The ones that would have been mixing in the Middle East. What's North? You mean North? No, no. North, North, Af I mean, North Africa right? towards the middle, towards the Middle Eastern. That's Eastern. Arabic. Yeah. Well, no, because yeah, you well, have no, the Kushites no, that are mentioned, and they're from Africa. So the Kushites... That was central. That was, the, like, the Sudan. Yeah, we're not, we're not arguing about that. That's true. No, that was... The Kushites come from Africa. Yeah, no, that is Africa. That is Africa. The Sudan is, is Africa. Right, yeah, but it's lower down. It's not It's not up near the Egyptian area. Egypt is is green, and then when you get past, uh, you get oh, into Central yeah, Africa yeah, yeah. and South Africa, it's the Kushite. Sorry, I, when, when, you said, when you said Sudan, I was thinking of Saudi Arabia. My brain put those two like across yeah. from each other. The, yeah. the black people so, in America are Congolese and west of that. Well, I only have a couple more minutes, though. So, so can we just get to a handful more topics before I gotta jump off, though? Sure, but can, can I bring up one topic? It's, a, yep. it's just a question. Yep. Have Have you submit Have you submitted and given free, uh, free will tribute to the goddess this year? To the, to the goddess. Yeah, DC. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. I paid my Columbia? taxes. The goddess Columbia? No. Yes, he uh, was. This, so I got it. <laughs> You're asking yeah. if I pay my you, taxes. Yeah, you can you commit blasphemy every time you pay your taxes. By the way, just so you know. Well, well, um, I'll, I'll say this though. In in the Bible, it doesn't say that you have to pay your taxes. So, so that that's not an accurate. Oh yeah, story. no, definitely not. Pay, hold up, but I don't what, think what it's is, not to render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. But, but wait a second, though, but you're, you're talking about Matthew, what is that, chapter 22, verse 17 on down. Uh, the people asked him, you know, our masters are, you know, here's the thing, when you read it, they said, is it lawful for us to give tribute? They didn't say, they're telling us that we got to give them money or they hurt us. That's not what they said. So Christ said, oh, yeah, you know, if, hey, I see his face is on the coin, give him the coin. Now, if he brought the coin to Christ, and let's say it was a Chuck E. Cheese token, he would be like, oh, yeah, you know, go give the mouse his, sample, his, uh, yeah. his, uh, his thing. You know what I'm but, saying? And all of those, and all of those, you're paying a human being. You're giving tribute right. to a human being. You're giving, in, currently, you're giving tribute to a goddess. Did God say you're allowed to worship gods by giving them offerings? <sighs> well, well, I'll say, I'll say this. I, I don't. I'm unemployed at the moment, so I'm not paying taxes on nothing. I'm only, I'm only 19, so, so I haven't had to uh, do any of that at this moment. Just, just think about that. I'm not saying don't pay your taxes, but just be aware. Right, right. But before I go off, though, could, could we get back to that? Well, what do you guys think about reincarnation? I, it depends on what kind. Yeah, let, me, let me let me give an example. You guys know about John the Baptist, right? Yeah, I know John the Baptist. Okay. Did you know that he was Elijah himself? Like in like the incarnation. Like. Was he also like, a colored fella? Uh, who, who said that? Well, who said that. Um, but if you go to uh, the coon. What is that? Matthew, if you go, what is that? If you go to Matthew, oh, Matthew, I will. Matthew, <laughs> Matthew chapter seventeen, verse ten. You know, Christ says that Elijah was. Um, excuse me, that John the Baptist was Elijah himself, right? So he was in reincarnation. And that's just one example I could give over other reincarnations. Okay, what about, what about Elias? What, yeah. what about Elias? Well, what do you ask about? Well, you know about Elias, right? Yeah, but what's your question about? Well, what about him? You'd have to, uh, you'd have to give me the... Uh, you know, you know the story thing. pertaining to around Elias, right? Yeah, that he, he and, was... And uh, Elijah? Right. Elijah and Elias, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, they, they were just taken, they were just taken away. No, they weren't. Okay, for one, Elijah was dying, right? And right. Elias asked Elijah, hey, can you give me, you know, can you give me a portion of your spirit? And then God, he asked, well, this is a typical thing. So if you see me going up and ascending to the Lord, then you shall know. And that's when Elias received the portion of uh, Elijah's spirit. Now, again, you could say that that's reincarnation in some sense, but I think it's mostly partaking the same thing, that... John the Baptist had the spirit of Elijah, not actually reincarnated as. Yeah, it's it's Elijah. called his mantle, right, Tog? Right. Yeah. The, his mantle, he picked up his mantle. mantle. Right. But, but, but could could somebody get the the precept just so we could read it? I, I don't have it here with me. But if you go to Matthew seventeen verse ten, Christ said, "This is Elijah." So he wasn't in in the spirit of him. He said it. This. If was. you can accept it. Yeah. If you could, because some people would hear it and would not believe it. But he's like, "Yeah, if you can accept it, that this is what it is." 
I, I still don't see that as reincarnation, but uh, because okay, he's talking yeah, about picking up the mantle. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Let, let me give you another example. What was that, Matthews? This again, sorry. Good, this is a really good. Oh, he got it. Uh, why, why that? Brother, why the brothers pulling that up there? Uh, Matthew 17, verse 10. Let's just get this one real quick. This is a good one. Um, you agree that um, John the Revelator died on the island of Patmos, right? I'm sorry, John the Revelator. Is that what you said? Yeah, 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 he died on the island of Patmos, right? You agree with that? Uh, he was in prison there. Yeah, so he, he eventually died there, right? I don't know that he's, that's yeah. true. I just, I believe he's that he was in prison there. He went by yeah, Theophilus yeah. at the time. Yeah, yeah, where, he, where history is, it, is he, yeah, he was condemned there, but then eventually he, he passed away there. That's where he died, right? So here, here's the reason why that's important, because it tells you in, uh, you go to Revelation chapter 10 and verse 11, the angel told him, you're going to have to go again and teach before many other peoples, kings, and nations, and tongues. So how would he go ahead and, and teach before many kings and nations again if he died on that We're island. still reading his testament. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Was, yeah but, he said, well, but wait, but he said it, that he himself was going to have to go. We, I mean, we can get the precept. The angel told John that he himself was going to have to go and teach before many kings and nations again. Okay. Yeah, it's probably I, 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 really I, I, where does that go to reincarnation? Because how, how, how could he do that unless he was reincarnated? He oh, died. resurrection. The same way, the, yeah, the same way through Christ, and that's through Christ. And again, it's well, the word of Christ. Wait, wait. So he, so he was resurrected again. That's what you're saying. Will be. Christ, yeah. Will be. Christ. We all will. Oh, and that, that's a good topic. What, what about the rapture? I got to hop out in a couple minutes, but that, that's a good one. What, what about the rapture? What, you guys what about it? Well, I'm, I'm just asking you from your perspective. You guys believe that's post tribulation or pre tribulation? Post. Oh, I have no idea. Post means after, and pre means before. I, I know what the terms mean. Okay. So you think it's post, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. We're, we're, we would agree on that. Um, but here, here's where it gets interesting, though, is the Bible speaks about God's chariots, right? Well, what, do you, yeah. what do you think that is, the chariots of God? Well, I don't know. What if I told you that they're actually UFO? That would be fine. Have you ever heard of that idea before? I believe that the UFOs are the watchers. Yeah, you get that from Enoch, right? Yes. But is there anywhere else in the Bible other than Enoch? Could, could oh, not in the Bible. Know? Not in the Bible, but in I the think, other cultures and religions around the world, yeah. I think when it speaks of chariots and God's wrath and the things along that, it's, it's speaking of the same thing, which would be the smoking furnace from the Old Testament, which is, you know, which would be God's lake of fire, essentially. Well, even Aleister Crowley called it the, that, and he was a demonologist, so... I, I'm not, I'm not one to incline to aliens. Well, well, here's the thing. UFOs, this is my understanding of it, but what they call UFOs, right, which stands for Unidentifiable Flying Object, I would say those are actually the chariots of God. As a matter of fact, you, you can check my page on this. If you know about the well, white I guess orb, that's fair. if you know about the orbs, I've actually captured one on tape that was flying right behind me while I was teaching all on the on the highways. And you can find it, you, you can look and validate it. Um... You know, and if you go to these... Hebrews, you can present it. No, You well, can present it here right now. I mean, you can find it on my page. Um, oh. But I, I can't share my screen because I'm not on a computer or none of that. But, but oh, gotcha, say, gotcha. Uh, let me say this real quick. Um, these hebrew Israelite camps, right, you know about those. Here's the interesting thing. If you look at, like, GMS, sometimes over the camps that they hold, you'll see these white orbs flying around in the sky, right? Those are the chariots of God, what people call UFOs that we see. So you got to wonder, it's like, wait a second. Why are these UFOs showing up around all of these religious people, you know, that are holding their, they call it camp, right, when they go out and teach on the street? Why are these showing up so frequently? And it's not just a one or two occurrence out of the blue. No, this happens year in, year out, man. You know, you can look into this. You know, there's plenty of videos of this that exist, you know, proving that these things are flying over the camp sometimes, man. They're called on videos, on live streams. They're very interesting. Go ahead. I don't know if there was a question there, was there? Oh, okay, but like um, the, the one brother asked about the, the Watchers, right? So I was just saying, because I don't subscribe to the Book of Enoch. I subscribe to the, which I can get into that next, but I don't subscribe to Enoch. I only subscribe to the 80 books of the Bible. Right. Do you subscribe to all 80 books? Do I, what does that mean to subscribe? Well, well in other words, do you believe in them? In a roundabout way, sure. Yeah, okay, let's, let, me, let me say that again. You believe in all 80 books. In a roundabout way? Sure. I, I don't think you called that. You know the Bible only has 66 books, right? And there's a lot of there's a lot of apocryphal and okay, extra-biblical stuff. Yeah, it there. depends on if you're Catholic oh, and okay. not if you go by Catholic you canon. Believe, 
excuse the background noise. Uh, do you believe in the Apocrypha? Have you heard of that before? Yeah, I just, I just mentioned it. Okay, so you do agree that it's a con canonical, right? No. You don't? Could, could you give no. me some reasons on that? Well, tell me what canonical means. Okay, well, well, it means...